hegemonic systems can exist throughout society to such a degree that society is uncomfortable without them being present. Legal systems can actually become a part of demonic structures when they fail to stand for both justice and mercy, but rather embrace and promote activities that are ungodly. I'm talking about stuff that replaces governments and structures and, and is in place over nations. Economic systems and financial systems that exploit even multinational corporations can fit this description when they be, go into third world or developing nations and by, because of greed exploit people in these countries, pillage their resources, pollute their environment and give no regard to the health or well-being of the people they're trampling. This is how you know it's on invisible, we battle on the visible as Babylon, boring in the spiritual, concepts and their principles, wickedness in higher places, recognizing now faces, face it, what are two choices, choosing, what are two voices, voicing in the pill, when destiny does not appeal, this physical, digital, party equation, simulation, reaching out for something real, beyond dimensions concealed, I'm talking to myself, so ill. See, we taking what we rights to, center stage, lime like the heavyweight fights, do the shroud is what we fight through, paparazzi, kamikaze, communism, luminati, trying to take your rights to the kingdom, king invites you to a mansion on a hill, can't imagine, but it's real, a property invisible, nice, indivisible, a flow that's irresistible, timeless and lyrical, you know it's on, it's literal, deep inside your chest, son, bulletproof, vest on, and vulnerability, I'm talking about humility, cause righteousness without it, I doubt it, <laughs> I'm a savage in averages, by his grace that I manage, the more I rhyme, the more damage, Expose and dismantle factions and scandals. Countries strive to buy arms, the more arms the wars on. Chemical agent, intrinsically stated, the world's forever sedated. Better yet, approximated, false flag fabricated. Truth excommunicated, a planet in beast mode. Infrastructures erode, democracies corrupt and about to implode. Economics and currency right down the commode. Hyperinflation, financial abode. But there's a moment foretold as the times will unfold, we are about to explode. So hold on to the truth and never let it go. Constants under pressure, the method and system discover treasure and wisdom. The measure of a man, temple reign and destruction, panoramas of land. Peace at any cost, lost soul of a man. You gain the whole world and it's fallout, man. What does that profit a man? Don't get caught up in the laws of attraction, the laws of distraction. One day the realms emerge, you cause a chain reaction. Plate tectonics, birth pain contractions, natural disasters, deceptive forecasts, inspirational actors, the rumors of yore, the second coming of a king's anticipated encore. Restoration for the family, a remnant's rapport, I will forever endure. Space time relevance till it's relevant no more. Translation revelation of he who we adore, yes, the trumpets will roar. And usually systems that are demonic benefit a fortunate few that are at the head or the top of the heel. When I'm talking about demonic systems here, I'm talking about the system behind it. The church has to be a little farther seen than that. We've got to understand behind those things, there's something else pulling the strings. There's something else manipulating the system. We've got to be discerning enough to be able to address the problem behind the problem, amen. We need to be speaking to financial systems and political systems and educational systems and say, Satan, get your hand off of these things. We're the children of God. We are salt. We are light. We are yeast in the earth today. What the church has to learn to do is stand up and say, Satan, you're not having our society. And maybe if you and I pray and touch God at another level in intercession, that we can help see breakthroughs in society in society in society